Welcome to the Upper Potomac Concerts. You can find out more about our programs and about the artists featured in this concert on our website at upperpotomacmusic.info. We have made this concert free, but hope that if you enjoyed it, you will support us by making a donation to us via PayPal. The donation address is upperpotomac at gmail.com. Hi, I'm Mark Allen Wade, and it's great to be here. Thanks for that introduction. Uh, well, I guess I'm sort of here. I'm actually in Northeast Ohio, but it's good to be with you nonetheless. Thanks to my workshop students who put up with me today. I appreciate it, and I hope I didn't scare you away for tomorrow. And also thanks to Joni Blanton for putting this all together and for inviting us all to be here. Much uh, appreciation goes to her. So I'm going to play a couple of my favorite tunes for you tonight. I'm going to start with a song that became so popular that Grandfather Clocks became named after it, not the other way around. This song is called My Grandfather's Clock, and I just wrote about this in the Dulcimer Player News Journal. It became so popular in the 1800s that all cabinet clocks became nicknamed Grandfather Clocks, so much so that now it's synonymous. So hope you enjoy this. Here is my grandfather's clock. That's a fun one. I'm going to play another tune for you that comes out of my new book. 
Last summer, I put a big collection of my favorite classical tunes together in one book called Classical Masterpieces for Hammer Dulcimer. And it's about 220 pages, and this is just one of my favorites from that. It's Chopin's Nocturne. Time for something completely different. Thank you. This next tune I'm going to do was really introduced to me through the TV show The Outlander, but most of you know this as the Skyboat song. If you enjoy this kind of thing, this was the song of the month I did on my Patreon page, where every month I teach a song with videos that show you how to do it and style points and pointers and stuff like that. And this is a really good one for that, so you can sound Scottish. I'm even going to use some harp techniques, so hope you enjoy the Skyboat song.
Next up, I'm going to be playing the Mountain Dulcimer, so I'll do a quick transition and I'll meet you over there. All right, so on the Mountain Dulcimer here, I thought I would play a tune that's often kind of considered cliche in Irish music, but if there's ever a time to play it, it's the month of St. Patrick's Day, right? So just to keep things interesting for you, I'm going to give it kind of a facelift uh, with the help of my drum machine over here and kind of imagine this tune if maybe Eric Clapton were playing it. So I hope you enjoy my version of Danny Boy. Thank you very much. <laughs> uh, I'm going to go move back to the Hammer Dulcimer to finish out my set, but be sure to stick around because there's a lot more great music. I'll be right back. Well, thanks again for having me. Uh, again, it's Mark Allen Wade. If you are interested in any of my books, I have eight of them and I have CDs, I think four or five of those, um, visit my website, markallenwade.com. And if you misspell it, you'll probably get someone else. Allen is A-L-A-N. Thanks again. I look forward to seeing you in workshops tomorrow. I'm going to close out with a favorite Irish jig of mine.
Thank you very much. Good night.
Potomac um, Music Weekend, Spring Music Weekend, from our house, my music studio, and surrounded by Paul's lovely old and new guitars. Um, Harp Guitar City here? Harp Guitar City, yeah. That first set was our Splendid Isolation set. We went under lockdown almost exactly a year ago. March 13th was my last in-person day at Georgetown Hospital. And uh, once it was obvious that lockdown was here for a while, I decided it was time to get around to learning that Brendan McGlinchey tune, Splendid Isolation. We started the set with a Patti Pahi tune, and then a jig, and then we did Splendid Isolation, and ended with Ed Reavy's Hunter's House. Now we're going to go a little bit more melancholy to uh, feature Paul's harp guitar with a French song. This song is called La Nonchalante. That's the name of a boat that has been uh, on the canals in France. All of the country, Belgium too, has a, the tightest canal net anywhere in the world. They started building those in the 1700s. And now it's getting a little passé. Some of the canals, have, uh, one of them has become a world UNESCO heritage site, uh, the canal that connects the Atlantic to the Mediterranean. Uh, and the person who sings this song is uh, somebody who's been working for a long time on the boats and looks back in a melancholy way at uh, all the beautiful things he's seen and what life was like on the canal boats. La nonchalante. <laughs> Jeunesse, la vie a passé sous les ponts, mais le bateau est encore bon et le temps n'est pas à la paresse. Si je débarque, il ne me restera qu'à me saouler au café du port sans avoir comme un cœur à bord dans la cave le moteur qui bat. La nonchalante, la nonchalante. On va pas se quitter comme ça, moi sans ta gorge, toi sans mes bras, la nonchalante, la nonchalante, la nonchalante, on ne peut pas oublier tout ça, ils disent ce qu'ils veulent, nous on s'en va, la nonchalante. Depuis la fin des années 30, on en a vu des chargements. Des écluses et du mauvais temps, que tu sois montant ou avalante. Un soleil qui dissout la brume, le canal du midi sous la lune, les fins de semaine à Conflance, il y a eu aussi de bons moments. La nonchalante, la nonchalante, on va pas se quitter comme ça. Moi sans ta côte, moi sans mes bras, la nonchalante. La nonchalante, la nonchalante, on ne peut pas oublier tout ça, ils disent ce qu'ils veulent, où on s'en va, la nonchalante.
tous les deux au bout du rouleau qu'il faut m'envoyer à l'hosto et t'emmener au déchirage mais passer la dernière église on partira sur la grande bleue on ira aussi loin qu'on peut j'aimerais t'en voir sur la cruse la nonchalante la nonchalante on va pas se quitter comme ça poisson de l'eau poisson de l'eau la nonchalante la nonchalante la nonchalante on ne peut pas oublier tout ça il est ce qu'il veut poisson de l'eau la nonchalante C'est triste, mais c'est beau. Sad, but beautiful. Um, okay, that's the extent of my French. <laughs> Now we're going to go to, uh, let's see, where are we going? Ireland. We're going to feature harp music. On from, the harp guitar. Um, on the harp guitar, yeah. From Turlock O'Carolan, 17th century, late 17th century. Miss Murphy. This was played at our wedding. And then um, we're going to go into a tune from Dave Weisler, a wonderful piano player and composer we work with. And it's called Mile of Smiles. It was the name of his mother's farm in Indiana where she grew up. And I just want to point out while Paul's doing that, this harp guitar, this old Gibson, belonged to Jody Marshall's dad. So um, we have hammer dulcimers and musicians of many generations, and these two instruments are both... 20th century instruments. This one's playable. That one, not quite as much, but it looks great. So we're happy to have it in the family. All right, Miss Murphy and Milo Smiles. Milo Smiles. Yeah, and I need to change hammers. Jeez. Okay. Got to have green, not white for this. Oh yeah, you got the green hammers. Makes all the difference. It does. <laughs>
Well, we've got another um, set that we worked up <clears throat> last year. Our first online attempt at a concert last year was the end of April, where I did a fundraiser for Doctors Without Borders. You can still see it. Um, and I raised about $1,500. That was very exciting. And we were trying out everything. We've come a long way in the last year. But the first tune is a nice old classic, Hard Times, by Stephen Foster, which is very appropriate for the times we live in. And I, I use it a lot at the hospital. And then we go into another Dave Leeser tune that he wrote for my hospital work as a therapeutic musician called Hands of the Healer. And we, uh, we do the Belgian version of this tune, the Belgian Compromise. These are good things to know if you're a musical couple. Everybody gets to do chords their own way. <laughs> and we hope that we intercept with the same chords when we're playing at the same time. So, because if you look at one another and you go, it can mean that either play that weird substitute chord, or it can also mean don't play it. <laughs> yeah, hope I get it's it right hard. this time. Yeah, okay. Mm -hmm.
okay. the healer. And that brings us to our final set tonight. Um, it's just, we're so happy that Upper Potomac went online. So we can still see each other, even if it's just little picture windows. And, um, you know, make contact with each other. Next year we'll be in person again. That will be so nice. In the meantime, more people can listen to us than usual um, and come to classes, which is fantastic. Huge shout out of thanks to Joni Blanton, who puts this festival on, and everybody who helps her. And also to, to Peter, who's helping craft videos for this new uh, development in Upper Potomac Concerts that we, oh my gosh, we're online. We're going to end with an Irish chef. Paul's playing his Texas mandolin. It's not frozen, fortunately. <laughs> <laughs> and we have water. Um, so the first tune is a children's uh, song about playing with the baby, tossing the baby up and down. The baby's not too happy with that apparently. Dinio Del Sadao. And then we're going to go into a couple of Irish polkas with the classic two ticks, Kaylee Bam, two ticks, and we are off and running. Um, the first one is from Jackie Daly, Newmarket, and the second one I is around, but I learned the version from the Blue Ridge Irish Academy. It is an earworm. Nell fee. And uh, have a wonderful evening and rest of the festival. I hope to see some of you tomorrow in my class and next year in person.